blood. It's a bit of a risky gamble, is that? Quest completed. Teshem Mutner. Two weeks later, Taylor's Workshop. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Give him a slap. Uh, hmm. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. Yeah. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. <laughs> what does the he look Duchess like? The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of That's... all else. Mm. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality. And misplaced generosity. Sound wistful, pensive, Regis. That because they refuse <laughs> to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Oh, really? Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm, so Regis is going somewhere. Hmm, ceremonies, medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory, after all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. He has you a point. Not to wit who else was in her black book. We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. There could be more to this. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began Best. by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Hmm, okay. Let's go talk to the boot black, and I'll go dressed like this uh, palace ponce, I think. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. 
It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. I'm sure it's a very or nice if you suit. Will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Yep. Promise to be careful. <laughs> Up to my waist in sewage. That's my plan for this suit. Uh, you missed the escape from fairy tale land. Did you end up taking a close look at the clouds of Sienna? Uh, yes, oh, yes, it's we the did. It's swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty spiffing? boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. I think it's protocol. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shined while we jabber? It is protocol to get them shined. That's how he gives the information. Yes, they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Ha! <laughs> clean yeah. boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. It's a fine pair of slippers, is that? Not much good for bashing vampires with, though. Um... No, Windows 10 won't cause any trouble with the USB interface for Agnes. I don't know about other cheaper options. Uh, Blue make like a... It's called a Blue Icicle or something, I think. It's like a... It's not cheap. Nothing made by Blue is cheap. Um, but no, I mean, the interfaces I use, the, the, the Focusrite Scarlet stuff that I've mentioned, I know they're more expensive than you want to pay, but they're USB. My ID 22 is USB. That's, that's not a problem with that, so that, that's fine. Uh... I honestly can't think of any cheaper options. I'm surprised those things you listed weren't USB, to be honest. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. I, I get the point. I get the message. Yeah, catch us on Discord about it um, later or tomorrow. And uh, we'll have a proper chat about that and see if we can get sorted with it. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters. Remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars? Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Well... I guess we didn't, no. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. Beggars, I guess. Oh, I know. They all had no home! Homeless beggars. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Let's just axie him. I, I held back on axieing him before, I think. I think we should just do it now. Yeah, Steinberg do make different stuff. Steinberg make, uh, I think it's called a UR22. Um, which is probably more than you want to pay again, Ragnus. But one of my friends uses that. He's a, he's a, he's a medieval musician, does his own recordings, though. Uh, and that's another good piece of kit. That's USB as well. Where'd they get the letters? They pick them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. There's Where's that? Beggar shelter? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, hmm. kid. For your trouble. Quite clever, actually, using beggars to deliver secret notes. Shelter. Look around inside. Because uh, no one stops beggars going around oh, the city, usually. Or no one searches them. And if you wanted to get rid of them, to hide any evidence, you could kill them off and no one's going to miss the beggars. Not in these sort of settings. Or is that just the way I think? After you, Regis. Oh, hang on. It's kicking off. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it. 
only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. There's an offer. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Hmm, who's taking over? The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Why? Why? What's scary Decent about the rabble? folk you mention mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. Yeah, Regis gets out the way. <laughs> hmm. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. <laughs> well, you say that, Regis. <laughs> but, yeah, look at these cheating buggers. They go straight in. Straight in for the kill. Hang on, I just need to get out of this because I'm a bit... Can I take a, uh, a water in this? Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. I'm not doing much damage to these devils. Is it because they're blocking me? Let's do the old... There, kicking the knackers. I'm going to get... Uh, as long as I can keep them out of the way. Ouch. I suffer with fist fights in confined spaces. Like that. I was blocking as well, but it obviously doesn't work unless I time it right. I've lost the last two fist fights. It's terrible. So much for not dirtying up the shiny new clothes. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> so, Regis, uh, how did we did we win? Are you well, my friend? These clothes too too tight. That's what, what they are. What happened? Well, I saw your opponents gain the upper hand, so I took the liberty of jumping in. They shan't bother us anymore. We can now have a calm conversation <laughs> with the proprietor. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to hate you. There you see. There you see. We just did it all out on purpose, just to make them feel sorry for us so they'll help. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. I don't believe it. His eyes look shifty when he said that. Don't believe it. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. Lies. But should you wait? Lies. They'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. We shall wait then. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Hmm. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. There's something just not right about this. The cooking pot hanging over. I can't see anything too cryptic a clue in that. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. Is that and we wouldn't want that. Code? That's Recently, code. Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? 
Go on, speak up. Romaine? Named after a Why lettuce. Should I squeak? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romaine. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romaine. Mm, he's answering for them. He's answering for them. I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. Yeah, okay. We can have a look at that. They should really look into all those drafty houses blowing Geralt's hair. Yeah, he must be stood in the doorway. There must be quite a breeze coming through this house. Which is probably a welcome thing if it's a house full of uh, stinking beggars. Give me that letter. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over. Or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. Don't trust him at all. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Okay. Well, this might help. The fifth victim. Hmm. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? Blank? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. Way to draw it out. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. This isn't right. This isn't right. I... Hmm... Let's see where this goes. This is a setup, I think. Complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. The last victim. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Sienna planned it from the start. But did she? Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. For that seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, mm. and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Yes. But, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it seems too obvious, doesn't it? That that's where the game's leading us. And I am expecting a curveball to be thrown in here. I am expecting something else. That this is going to be a setup. It's that other vampire woman, maybe. I don't know. Something else. That is not immediately obvious. Idea. After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. What? I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Coming with? Of course not. 
I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. Fair she dues. treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. I just have this feeling that there is something else. Talk to Damien and optional talk to Sienna. Okay. Well, we want to talk to Sienna. Uh, maybe Damien knows something about it too. So is that that one? What's that one? Let's talk to Damien. Uh, well, oh God, we're all the way over there. Right. There's a. There is. We're gonna go running in my fancy ducal outfit. Should be a signpost down here somewhere. It said, there it is. Maybe I'm looking too deeply into this. I don't know. But uh, I mean, there's so many little stories in this game have had twists and turns leading up to this. We sometimes play this uh, Sherlock Holmes detective game. Me and a few friends. It's awesome. You, you, you get read out a sort of mystery and you've got like old copies of the times to look through for clues and things in the classified ads from people involved in it to try and find and you go to locations and quite often in that we try to overthink it <laughs> and it's our downfall it's an awesome game though let's see look at these fancy slippers can I go in through this door not that one not that one. Oh, is it saying I have to go around? Oh, I see. I think I see. You got that on your wish list for your birthday? It's really good. Uh, especially if you've got a few people to play it with. I mean, you, you, you might be able to play that one solo, actually. But um, uh, you can play it with just two people. Obviously, it's co-op. Uh, but if you have a few more, just extra sets of eyes to look for clues in the papers and things that, that are so easy to, to miss. Uh, it's, it's an awesome way they've done that game. We, we've never beaten Holmes at it yet in about five or six adventures. Upstairs. Aha. Halt! Need to see Sienna urgently. In the matter of? Trying to talk to her, plain and simple. Want to talk to her? It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's <sighs> orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation urgently. Ah, fine then. Oh, that's okay then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission. Oh, thank you. For a few minutes. That's very Promise generous of you. Very generous of him, isn't it? Some trash guardsman giving me his permission. Do you know who I am, sir? Do you not recognise these fine clothes and these white fluffy slippers as the mark of honour? The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have I played Betrayal I Legacy? I to see how I fare. I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. No, I haven't. <laughs> Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? That is a truly beautiful graphic. That is really nicely done. You wouldn't complain if I was given a break from boring guard duty, regular or not? That's true. That's true. It must be pretty dull standing around in these uh, very nice 
bedchambers looking over a beautiful woman. Could be could be a lot worse duties, actually, when you come to think of it. Uh, let's see. Because she turned her back on you, forgot about you. Let's go for that one. Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. So she was going to kill her then. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you yep. out. Hmm. I probably will. I, I had her down as um, just the wronged sister. She'd been wronged as a child and I didn't have her down as, as bad as this, unfortunately. I got that wrong. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you and forgive her. Nice view out of that window. Why should I? For old times' sake, you loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria did get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could call That's you. That's clever. With the window. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. That's true. So true. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me. Hmm? You might ask her that. Yeah. I'm not going to guess. Don't know. But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters <laughs> after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me, to justify it. Maybe. But there's nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all Toussaint. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Well, you know, it'd be nice. Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. That's unlikely. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Sienna. Hmm, don't know how this is going to turn out. It's alright, Pan. I, I see what you've said. I didn't read that before I chose the option. You know me, I always try and play the good guy in these sort of mediation situations. Mediation? Yeah, mediation. Until someone really... Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Is that Damien? Unless someone really tries my patience. Um, I think that's Damien, but I'm going to say I need to uh, need to tend to something because I'm going to go to see him to anyway. One thing first. I'll look in on him afterwards. So be it. Yeah, if they if they just said Damien wants to see you, I'd have gone. But uh, <laughs> I might just loot the castle while I'm here. No, I better not. I've got enough stuff. Hey, Sihon. No kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy. We had that at the start. You missed that bit. <laughs> that was the the weirdest love scene, even for the Witcher with its flipping stuffed unicorns and God knows what else. That was odd. Over the corpse of Shrek as well. Yeah, um, it's a long story. Uh, okay, we're going down there. I don't think there's a really quick way, is there? Can I... I feel like I'm going to do something stupid like try and jump over 